Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we're going to explain how to use Wireshark to detect TCP resets. And uh, let's just give you a little bit of background. It's very quick, but we have a server here that's cleverly called SRV. And it is reporting more than three failed connections per second on average. It's been going on for a few days. Don't really know what's going on. So what we do know is we need to use some tool to figure out what these failed TCP connections are. So the tool we're using is Wireshark. We're using the portable version. We've already unzipped it. You can download it. It's free, works great, super popular in the industry. And what it will do, if you're not familiar with it at all, is it will come up and it will start looking at your interfaces, basically the NICs that are in the machine, physical, Wi-Fi, virtual NICs, all of that stuff. And it'll figure out what uh, ports there are to start looking at. What we want to do is we want to start capturing traffic on this Ethernet port. So I've clicked on this Ethernet port, and now I'm going to click the little shark. And it's collecting all kinds of data. And I'm going to click Stop, because you'll recall that this is failing three times a second, so I don't need to run it very long to figure it out. And the filter command we want to use is tcp.flags. There it is, top one. Flags.reset equals exactly one. Click on that, press the enter key, and it'll filter. And it find, found all kinds of them. Now, something else you can do is you can leave that filter up and run it again. Uh, instead of showing you all of the content, it will only show you uh, what's in that filter. So let's click Continue Without Saving, and you'll see it starts with nothing. And over the course of a few seconds here, And I'll click stop now. There we go, I'll sort by source. And then we'll be able to look at the, uh, just trying to find patterns to figure out what's causing this. And uh, this is a domain controller and you can see here it's on port 88. Port 88 is mostly Kerberos. So that is not tremendously helpful. And scrolling down here, well, it's not much else. See what else here, port 25, port 120, yeah, uh, 11,000. So there's a lot of them. Uh, so suffice it to say, I've been running this on and off all afternoon and found that it's coming from, the failures are coming from all kinds of servers on all kinds of different ports. So what does that tell you? Well, if it was on a specific port, you'd be able to figure out what that port is go from there to resolve the problem. So if it's port 80, perhaps the web server is having a problem or web service. If it's port 25, maybe it's your mail, you know, whatever. In this case, however, I don't have a pattern. So then you think, well, maybe it's the actual device. Now this is a virtual machine. And so I took a look at other VMs that are on the same cluster node and none of them are reporting any problems. So it's not a physical cable problem or a net physical network card problem, at least it's very unlikely to be. So in my case, because I'm unable to find a solid pattern here, what I'm going to do is actually just reboot the whole server to see if it clears it out. This started a few days ago and it just seems to be on and off and it's a bit intermittent. Anyway, that's how you filter on reset flags. If you found this video of use, please click uh, the big thumbs up. Subscribe's always appreciated. And you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Www Thanks and have a great day. Bye bye.